Hi, third grade. Today's question is how can art be functional, aka be used for something? So today you're going to receive a upside down cup and then you're going to place your plastic bag on the bottom, if it's not already done for you, and stuff it inside. Now you're going to take your clay, add a little bit of water. Sometimes you can use the table, but you want to try using the paper, otherwise it could get stuck. And if it is drying out, just add a little bit of water. Think of the water as lotion on dry skin. Now the goal here is to flatten it out about the thickness of your finger, and then you're going to place it on top of your cup. Give us a thumbs up once you've done that. All right, now here is where the fun begins. You're going to take your finger and you're gonna go all around. If you see any spots that are cracking, just give a little bit of water and that will smooth it out. Avoid using too much water because then your clay will turn back into mud and that will not work for this project. You wanna make it very, very smooth. You wanna make sure that you're not making the clay too thin where it could break in the kiln. You wanna keep it pretty thick, but you're making an organic shape. Remember, Kahuli liked those organic forms. You should be constantly moving it around, giving it some new shapes and forms, but also smoothing it down. The texture of the clay is very important. The smoother it is, the better your paint will go on. Some people have had their clay so thick and jumbly rough that they couldn't add color to it. You can give it a little check later on and take off the cup. You can smooth out the inside. However, though, you want to put the cup back inside because if you let it dry without the cup, it will turn into a plate which is not what we want for this. We want it to actually hold things. Before you are done, please let me write your initials on the top of your bowl. Mine is JB because my name is Joseph Boatfield. Once you're done, just double check with me that you put your name on it. I need, need, need your name because remember, we're going to have like 5,000 of these and they're all basically going to look the same. When it's ready, I will take this out and I will put it in the kiln. But for right now, leave it on the cup. So you're just going to leave it upside down on the cup. Otherwise, if you leave it without the cup, it's going to deflate overnight. It's going to turn back into a plate. So we got to let it dry while it's like this. Put that on the back counter where it says third. All tools go back with the tools. Water cup you can leave on the table. This is nasty, so you can throw it away. You're going to start out with the Lysol wet wipes and clean your table first. Normally I say clean your hands, but actually with clay, I want you to clean your table first. Here's why. See, my hands are nasty, icky, dirty, gross. Take one wet wipe, clean with your right hand. Really good. And then switch, Just clean with your left hand. Did you see what happened there? By cleaning the table first, it actually got most of the gunk off your hands. Because here's the thing, clay can't go down the drain. When clay dries in the drain, it will clog it up and that would be no good for our school. Then once you've cleaned with the Lysol wet wipes, throw those away and then use a hand wipe to get those little bits of nasties. And look, my hands are basically good as new. That way you don't have to wash your hands. If you wanna wash your hands later, fine, but not while you're in here. I can't have you damaging our pipes because of clay. Once you've cleaned up, you can choose a new activity. We have books, free draw, or dry erase board. We do not have iPads today because I need you guys to focus on clay. Yes, yes? All right, I can't wait to see your amazing Kahuli bowls.